Hi everyone. I understand that there was a lot of information in that first video I sent. I'll try to make things maybe a little bit easier. For some of you, you probably don't even need to have the live classroom setting with the interaction with students. Maybe you just want to create a video recording utilizing the camera on your Chromebook and be able to capture your screen. Now you can use Screencastify, which would be up in this top corner. I'm using it right now to make this video. The downside is that videos are limited to five minutes and uh, it's kind of difficult to like upload into like Drive and stuff. It just makes things a little bit easier if you follow this other step. We're gonna go into Google Meet. It's the Hangouts version or what Hangouts used to be. And we'll title our meeting Dave. Very similar to what we did the other day. We're gonna join the meeting at this point, we're just not gonna invite anybody else in. We're gonna record what we're doing, but just not have that option for um, other students to join in. So then if we just go here, we can record the meeting. Accept. And then down here, you can present your screen. You can turn off your camera. Let's present our screen. We'll select this one, then we're just gonna open up a new tab. And this is where you could open up a Google Doc, a Google Slide, if you already have this presentation ready. Uh, you could do your whole lesson through that. Um, another cool feature with which uh, Jeff told me about was Keep. This is really neat and kind of mimics a clever touch or smart board. Jeff and I were like writing on this the other day. So we can do, we can take a new note, just click on this one, you can write on it. Kids can use their stylus. Um, it's basically like a giant smart board. You can do math equations on there and then end up saving it. Uh, you can also use like different color writing palettes. It's pretty neat. I had never, I didn't know about this prior, but you can also um, type in stuff within the document. So check out Google Keep. It's another great interaction uh, possibility with students to use. All right. And then when you're done, or if you want to stop presenting your screen, you click on that. And then if you want to end the recording, you just simply go by the three dots in the bottom corner, stop recording. And the really nice aspect about this is that it's going to automatically send you an email in about two minutes. You can click on that email, upload it to Drive or your Google Classroom, and that's basically it. It's a really simple solution that if you don't want to use the live interaction features of Hangouts, this is just another option for you. All right. Have a great day.